Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for a radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, and today we're talking about learning for kids. We know, of course, right now the spring break is, is definitely something that people have been able to look forward to. Of course, as we are now, of course, in summer as well, people are thinking about the fun they can have with their families, but here in Mississippi, school is actually starting back in just a little over a month. So one of the things that parents may be concerned about is what's called the summer slide. So for someone who may be wondering how can they help their kids not to forget the things they've learned, our next guest is definitely going to be of interest to you. We're excited to welcome Broderick Clark to our broadcast today. Broderick is the Vice President of the National Summer Learning Association. He's going to share some advice not only about how you can prevent learning loss, but also how they're teaming up with Netflix to do something very special for kids, but also adults can benefit from as well. Broderick, thank you again for the time. Really do appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Oh, the pleasure is definitely all mine. As I mentioned, Broderick, when it comes to spring and summer, of course, that can be a lot of time that we can enjoy time with the kids. But one thing that definitely happens in those summer months, even though they are abbreviated for us here in the, in the South, is what they call summer slide. So let's start there, Broderick. For our audience out there, what exactly is summer slide, and why is it something that parents are concerned about? Absolutely. The summer slide is a real phenomenon for sure. It's essentially the learning loss that occurs um, often over the summer break. Uh, my mom used to tell me all the time, you got to use it or lose it, right? And so uh, we don't want young people sitting in the summertime idle. Um, they can forget and, and lose the learnings that they've had um, during the school year. And, of course, this can impact all kids, certainly, but especially those that don't have the luxury of, of attending a high-quality out-of-school time um, uh, and summer learning program because of access mm-hmm. issues. And so that's why we partnered with Netflix. Um, you know, there are some easily accessible crafts and things that parents can do with kids in partnership with their kids watching the, the television program that can really add some richness uh, to the experience of engaging with those programs aside from watching them and just going to the next episode. Love that. Well, Broderick, there may be some that think, well, the summer is a time for fun, but why is it important, though, that they prioritize learning during that summer break as well? Absolutely. So learning is actually pretty fun. <laughs> I know somewhere you know, around the world of, of academia, um, it, can, it can seem very rote and very um, sort of procedural, but the idea of learning and connecting with an idea that you didn't know before uh, and to see that light go off in the eyes of a child who not only connected to a new piece of information, but also recognize that this is something that's core to who they are as a human and it's something that they are curious about and love to do. Um, it, it's really uh, an exciting um, uh, you know, experience to see that happen. Uh, and it also helps young people um, not only identify what they're interested and curious about or what they want to do, but they might also learn what they don't like and what they don't want to know, and that's equally uh, exciting and important. Uh, It also allows them um, to really hold on uh, to some of those uh, learnings and teachings that they had during the school year so they can continue to apply those things that they learned. um, um, And, of course, it's the application of knowledge which helps to um, young people to retain it for sure. Such a great point, and as you mentioned, that's why it's so good that the the National Summer Learning Association has teamed up with Netflix. So for audience out there that may be curious about how they can benefit from this, how can parents keep kids learning while school is out for the summer thanks to this program that's going on with Netflix? Absolutely. So I, I would encourage families to go to NetflixFamily.com. Um, there you'll see um, uh, uh, a lot of different shows that are available on Netflix there that um, um, kids enjoy, um, adults enjoy. Like I'm a big, I'm a big Our Planet too guy. David Attenborough, I can listen to that voice all day, every day, and talking about trees, plants, birds, animals, uh, those things. But beyond just watching that show, um, somewhat passively, right? How do I take 
that experience and say, okay, kids, you know, we're going to go out in the backyard and create uh, a bird feeder because I know you all hear birds chirping all day, every day. Do you know how many different kinds of birds are in our neighborhood? Uh, and that just really takes the, 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 the experience of watching the show out of the television, uh, out of the bedroom or the living room, and out into, the, out into nature, which ultimately, you know, you want young people to get out and experience um, nature and to be curious and to, you know, to ask those essential questions that's going to get them to connect and navigate uh, even better. Um, uh, there, there, there are a couple of uh, 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 miraculous, the movie, they turn a miraculous into a movie. This is a uh, young lady protagonist who realized that they have some superpowers. Well, mm. you know, each and every human has superpowers. Like, what's your superpower? And have kids figure out, what's your superpower? Well, I'm, I'm musical, and, or I can dance, or, you know, I have a singing voice, or I have an artistic eye in, in, in something, or I'm super great at mathematics, you know, and physics, and those kinds of things. What's your superpower? So, again, it, just, it, it, can, it can immerse young people in the, the content uh, so that more less of a passive activity in watching, um, but also making it come alive and so it can be relevant to who they are as a person um, and, and, and make connections to how they live their everyday life. Love that, love that. And it's great that, as you mentioned, Broderick, something, of course, with the kids, but also we adults can enjoy as well. If you don't mind, uh, Broderick, give out that website again, please. I would encourage you to go to NetflixFamily.com. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about the National Summer Learning Association, you go to summerlearning.org, and there's also a website called discoversummer.org for parents that are looking for programs and opportunities uh, within uh, your, your local area. Awesome. Again, everyone, Broderick Clark has been our guest, the Vice President of the National Summer Learning Association, sharing some ways, of course, that us as adults can be able to help kids prevent learning loss as they're enjoying the time during the summer. Broderick, thank you for the great work you all are doing, and thank you for the time today. really do appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. It was an honor and a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, and let's go make today amazing. Take care.